Hello, this is Ashley Gregory 21 here, and today I'm going to be going through the basic features of Microsoft Word 2007. First of all, let's open it up. Now, once it's opened, here we go, we have the basic taskbar here with home, insert, page layout, references, mailings, review and view. Developer will not be there by default, you have to add developer. Now to start off we have things like bold, which as you probably know, if we write some words, make them bold, makes them bold, let's make that bigger. We have italics, we have underline, we have different types of underline. See we've got the squiggly underline. And we also have the line through text. And if you are wanting to add, if it's like a x squared number or three squared, we also have the change case so you can uppercase it all, toggle case it, capitalize each word, sentence case it, and lowercase it. You also have the highlight function, which allows you to highlight your text like so. You can also change the colour by clicking the little arrow next to the side, there's lots of colours. Or you can have no colour to get rid of that. You can also change the colour of your text here. So we have black by automatic, we could change to red, yellow, green. Let's have it for green for now. You can also change the location. You can see, so you can have it on left edge, right edge, centre, or left to right. We also have the line spacing, which will show leave how much space between each line. So as you can see, there's quite a gap between each line there. So if we change this spacing, it makes it a lot smaller. This here is the fill shading tool, which colors the background behind the selected text paragraph. So we can have yellow background. Red, blue background, purple background, it's slightly like the highlight function. And we also have the bottom borders, the borders, so we can have a vertical border inside. Let's get rid of that. So that's the borders. We also have the different styles of text. We have title, headings, no spacing between your lines, emphasis. There are lots of different ones to choose from. Now if we go over to here, this is where you change your font. So I think by default you have Cal Calibri, Calibri and Cambria here. These are the two that most people will use. But there are lots of different ones that you can use which all add different effects and emphasis on certain words. And again you can also change the size of your text. This here only goes up to 72, but if we input a number, like let's say 500, it makes the words 500. So let's just put that back to 100. We also have the clear formatting, which will clear all the formatting from your selection like that. So it will go back to how it was before we started. We also have the bullet point option. This allows bullet points to be inserted, like so. And you can also change the different bullet points you have. There are lots of different types, like arrows. You also have the numbers option, which instead of bullet points, inserts numbers. And you also have the multi-level list which will put the list in diagonal like you can see on the screen now so instead of being in one straight line it will all be diagonal you also have this which is decrease the intent which decreases the indent level of the paragraph so it moves things left and right and you also have this one which is sort which is alphabet which alphabetizes the selected text or numbers so we'll put them into alphabetical order, but well, we don't have none to sort there. We also have this one, which is the slow shots high, so it shows paragraph marks and other hidden formatting symbols, but we don't have no formatting symbols at the moment on here. 
I also have the paste option here which is where you paste pictures cut copy and format painter now we go on to the next button we have insert we have insert cover page which here which is all different types of cover pages you can insert there's insert a blank page which as you can see now adds a blank page here and we also have page break which puts a break in between the page so it starts the next page at the current position and we can also insert a table let's try that so we do a 6x5 table there you can see move this around by grabbing the little box up here and we can move this around we also have the picture option which is where if you click on this you can find for your files and find a picture you want so if I click pop up homer here we go it's inserted my a pop up homer we also have the clip art which as you know is a selection of images by Microsoft so if we search hello it should come up with a lots of pictures that are associated sort of with the word hello here we go so we double click on these to insert them so double click and it inserts on the insert option we also have shapes which you can insert a number of different shapes like smiley faces text box well squares boxes in this box if you want to add text you right click and click add text so I can now click I can now add text to this and if you want to change the color and everything you can double click and you have lots of different effects here for the colors you can also go to shape fill to change the different fill and you can also go to the outline to change the color of the outline and you can also change the shape of it so if I want to change this it will change the shape for me automatically we also have smart art which are a load of graphic ranges which are like lists and diagrams such as Venn diagrams bar charts so we have circles hierarchy relationship so let's insert a pyramid we'll insert a pyramid like this double click inserts pyramids and I can I can insert it so me you them like that we can delete that we also have the chart which is things like bar charts so we can insert this bar chart here and it'll take you to Microsoft Office Excel and so if we change the different categories so if we rename category 1 to dogs and then we close that it names this one to dogs we also have hyperlink which is where you insert a hyperlink so if you want to insert a hyperlink to a certain file let's say I want to insert it I want to do it to this file then here is the hyperlink to get to the file now we also have bookmarks which is that you create a bookmark to a specific point in the document and you also have cross-reference which refers to items such as headings and it's automatically updates if the content is moved to another location you can also insert headers which if you insert a header that's a lot better when printing as it won't cut half of your documents off like I found out so header will insert a blank header close that and as you can see now it leaves a gap here whereas before we inserted the header as you can see oh, it would have if we get rid of that it would just go to the top you can also insert a footer so there are lots of different types of footer I like this type of footer personally myself so we insert you can insert your name like that close header and footer and as you can see it will print this out and it automatically tells you what page it is so as you can see page one if we insert a blank page automatically it changes to page two so if we just get rid of this 
on the inserts you can also insert page numbers so in top of the page we could have a page number 